Hello and welcome to this course Quantitative Methods in Chemistry being offered at the NPTEL platform by Indian Institute of Science Education and Research Bhopal and this course will be co-instructed by the two of us. My name is Dr. Ashish Srivastav and with me is Dr. Bharadwaj Satyamurthy. We are from the Department of Chemistry and you can see the link below and uh, let me first introduce uh, myself and the research that I do. So we call our lab as the laboratory of molecular and macromolecular materials and we work on a wide variety of soft materials uh, which can include materials which are stimuli responsive or low molecular weight gelators as well as novel drug delivery systems. And in my uh, lab we work in the uh, field of solution state anomal spectroscopy towards uh, methodology application development and uh, towards uh, understanding how biomolecular structure and dynamics changes for uh, molecules such as proteins and nucleic acids upon uh, uh, perturbation or even changes that would come uh, uh, normally. So uh, we are very excited to offer this course from January 2020 and this course is essentially uh, aimed at all the chemistry students uh, uh, doing their undergraduate and the, the only prerequisite for this course is basic chemistry knowledge. And we feel that this course will be very useful to all chemistry students since it incorporates the element of quantitative assessment of chemical data and it trains you to arrive at uh, inferences which are not biased and uh, which are uh, arrived after undertaking proper statistical analysis of your data. Further, after this course, you will become familiar with proper use of terms such as accuracy and precision. You will have a better understanding of what error implies in scientific parlance and how it propagates across independent measurements. You will also uh, know about uh, the theoretical basis for chemical separations which include chromatography and solvent-solvent extractions and you will be able to apply this understanding in real life uh, scenarios where we want to isolate pure uh, analytes and you will appreciate terms like resolution, retention time, etc. and you will become aware of parameters that influence it. So let us go through the course contents one by one. So let's start with the first week. Um, a brief uh, 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 learning objectives is given for all the weeks uh, here. Although we uh, emphasize that basic chemistry knowledge is required, the first week would help you get started with some of the basics, something like chemical stoichiometry will be introduced and different types of concentrations will be reintroduced so that we are familiar as we go forward in the course. And in the second week, we will try to be understanding what is the measurement and what are the uncertainties that come up with the measurement as we would quantify it with a variable called standard deviation and how experiments could be set up reliably such that the data that you get out of it can be interpreted. And following this, the third week, we'll be trying to understand how do these uncertainties arise for these different uh, setups and how some of these uncertainties can be minimized. Week four will focus on hypothesis validation through the use of a wide variety of statistical tables. So you will get introduced to the Z tables, T tables and F tables. You will also understand what is an outlier and how do we identify it with the Q test. And having obtained the data and, and trying to come up with a hypothesis, an important aspect of this would be properly sampling your data, getting it fit and do the analysis so that the parameters that you want to measure are reliably and accurately uh, determined. For instance, we are taking an example here of solubility of a given uh, solute in a solution, let's say, and you want to determine what is the enthalpy change associated with the process. So then what you do is to do an experiment as a function of temperature, which results in these kind of data points. And these data points, when fitted with a given equation, as shown here, the Vantop equation, you'll be able to get the uh, physical parameter that you would like to measure. So uh, as you're able to realize data forms an integral part of research and also of course this course, uh, we'll be trying to introduce you to some software based analysis uh, so that we are a little comfortable handling large set of data. And then in the next week, now that we get the data, uh, we'll be trying to understand how to fit them and do analysis and apply it to few fundamental examples. And we are hoping to uh, illustrate rate kinetics uh, and for instance, how gradient mixing can be numerically simulated to understand what goes on and even apply it to a case of biomolecular folding. A little bit of thermodynamics that is required will also be introduced as we go for these kind of uh, simulations.
week 8 will get us introduced to the concept of uh, sample preparation in real life scenarios uh, the concept of standards primary and secondary and what are the traditional methods of analysis such as gravimetric analysis volumetric analysis and potentiometric methods of analysis of our analytes and this will continue with uh, analytical separations being the focus of week 9 where we will get introduced to solvent extraction and chemical precipitation and a large number of chromatographic techniques that are available to us today to purify our sample and make accurate measurements with them. Week 10, we will emphasize on the theoretical basis of chromatography. We will get introduced to the theoretical plate height concept, the plate count, resolution of, uh, of the peaks, uh, and the retention time retention factor and selectivity factor for the solutes that are being purified so this will continue with a discussion on the two major theories of purification of samples through a chromatographic column which are known as the rate theory and the plate theory so we will understand the differences between them we will also get introduced to the height equivalent of theoretical plate and we will distinguish and contrast between these two main theories explaining, explaining how the solute moves inside a chromatographic column. Uh, in the final week, we will be trying to demonstrate uh, with videos the different aspects of this course that you have learned. For instance, the sample preparation techniques, some separation techniques, which will uh, once again help you relate to the concepts that we have introduced theoretically uh, earlier in this course. So, Finally, we are very <clears throat> excited to offer this course, which is our unique take on analytical chemistry with a quantitative emphasis. And we believe that after this course, you will be able to appreciate both the theoretical aspects of uh, analyt analytical chemistry and the practical aspects uh, which we utilize in day-to-day -day life. Thank you. 